So tonight on Garage Time, we're gonna go through the process of assembling and building a wireless horn for your Volkswagen bus. Now this is an option or required when you switch to the Creative Engineering steering rack kit with the solid uh, shaft, so you can't run your ground wire up through the shaft. So uh, we're gonna take you to the bench and show you how to set that up now. All right, so to start the process, I would recommend you download the manual from Cooltech. Uh, these guys used to actually sell a kit. Now uh, it's no longer available from them, but they do still post their instructions. Our uh, setup here tonight is based off their instructions. To start, you have to get yourself a momentary switch, a uh, wireless one. We purchased ours from eBay. Uh, they go into more detail in the instruction, but what you obviously get is this module here, which is where you'll run your power and whatnot to, and then this small hand receiver here. Now, in their instructions, they tell you to disassemble this, solder to the battery, and do a bunch of things. If I remove these two buttons, you can see those are our push buttons there. So what we'll be doing, um, is I'll go through this wiring a bit and I'll show you our setup. Our setup is actually a little simpler. So if you are in the same position, you bought the steering rack. If you upgrade your steering wheel as well, which you go to uh, the one from Air Cooled Accessories, uh, the hub is actually much larger. So we don't have to completely disassemble our little clicker. I'm going to take off this switch, solder these two leads to it, put the cap back on, and then with double-sided tape, this will fit right in my hub. And then when I touch this, this is a momentary switch right here, closes that switch, it will beep our horn. So if you do upgrade your steering wheel, it actually makes this process a lot simpler. So we've actually cheated a bit here. We've done a pre-assembly to help speed the video along. But what you can see is I have wired it up and I do apologize for the funny coloring of wiring. We've been doing a lot of wiring lately and so it's not right. But for ground here, we've used yellow. We've brought a battery right up on our bench to again help with demonstrating how this works. So our ground giving our module power. Now this module will be placed under your dash somewhere, so you'll have to bring your connections to it. The one right beside it is our power. We've added a fuse just in case we had any issues uh, with our hookup here. So again, that's going right back to my battery, bringing power to this module. And how it works is when you click that button on the clicker, which we're going to end up connecting to our horn button, it closes these two contacts here. So we've brought power to one of the contacts. When we push that button, it closes the second one. And that brings power to your standard relay, right? So it's your typical universal relay, your four pin relay with your latching. So when we energize by pushing the button on the controller, which will be our horn button, we are gonna energize pin 86. When we do that, we're gonna send power down pin 87. So 87 is connected to our horn. Again, if I'm going too fast, they do have the wiring schematic in the directions that they provide. But I'm just trying to give you the idea of how it works. So we push the button, 86 gets energized, brings power down 87. So which brings power to the power side of our horn and the other side is still grounded as typical. So that would go to your frame. So I'm gonna push the button. I'm giving you a warning. It is loud, but the horn will beep. There you go. So wirelessly by pushing this button, we're controlling our horn creates or eliminates the issue that the creative engineering steering rack has caused, giving you back your stock horn. So just to demonstrate, we have soldered the board to our momentary switch, our nice 
air quotes accessories horn button and if I touch that again it's gonna be loud but the horn will beep there you go so we've gone ahead we taped up the module I haven't double-sided taped it yet but I could stick it right to the back of our horn button and you can see the hub on this air-cooled accessories steering wheel is much larger than stock so you would just go ahead place that in I'm not gonna push mine down tight right now because I will be removing it again but horn is in and that is how you go ahead and make a wireless horn button for your Volkswagen bus. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you out there.